Good morning guys, what's up? It's me Timmy with 8 Chicken and we're going to do our weekly garden update. So let's do it. Good morning YouTube. Uh, here's the weekly rain update. Two and a quarter inches. Not bad. Check out this corn behind me. Wow, we're really getting there. We've only lost um, two. I think I got 41 plants in here, so we'll see how it does. Boom, moving on. All right, now for one of the biggest surprises and the biggest growers of the week, the pie pumpkins. Check those babies out. They are going crazy. Um, I'm, starting, I'm gonna train them out this way, hopefully. And that plant I'll train this way so I still have some access behind here to get through and check everything. Um, hopefully this broccoli makes it through. And these pumpkins are going pretty crazy. I think it'll be all right. Um, sweet potatoes are still doing really good. Regular potatoes are doing good. I don't think our strawberries are gonna come up this year. Um, we planted them really late. So hopefully next year they come up. If not, no harm, no foul, we'll replant them. Um, here's the rhubarb. As you see, the rhubarb's looking really nice. Nice bright colors. It's starting to get some good thick stems on it. Um, you know, and they're really starting to come out. This one's definitely doing the best out of all of them. Our broccoli, or our cauliflower is doing really well here. Um, we have some radishes spread out through here. Here's one. There's a couple spread in there. And then our carrots, uh, which we secession sowed, are also doing really well. And then right here, these cucumbers are finally doing nice and they're coming up. Um, this is the one I mentioned that had a little bit of yellow on it, but it seems to be doing okay now. And I just think that was just a, a water deficiency thing. So um, we got three of them that came up out of here out of the six. So we'll see how it does. Um, the hollow towers are doing really, really good. Uh, they're finally taking off. I think these grew a foot in a week. The cascades are filling out nicely. Um, I got this long vine here. So I'm hopefully going to train this way. We'll see how it goes. Or these are nuggets, not cascades. That's my fault. All of our tomatoes. Last week we had one lonely tomato on here. And this week we have all kinds of tomatoes. Um, we got to get this lettuce and stuff out of here. But other than that. Um, also, let me know in the comments below if you're interested in learning how to self-pollinate peppers and tomatoes comment that below and i will definitely show you because it's super easy and it's i mean you're in the garden so it takes two seconds to do and you'll double your yield but my tomatoes are looking great this year um, here is my giant pumpkin update for the week kind of i'm getting some flowers on them and stuff so we'll see where they go from there um, they should really start taking off soon i would hope Here's our peppers. We got some Hungarian wax that popped up this week. Um, one here, one here. Our cayennes here don't have any peppers on them yet. Our jalapenos are taking off. And a couple little bell peppers coming in. Uh, fun story yesterday, my wife was out here. And our youngest son, who is just about two, he's used to go grabbing peas and carrots and stuff out of the garden. He grabs a jalapeno and goes, hey mom, yum yum. Mom's like, no, runs over and hurries up uh, and grabs the jalapeno from him. So that's a little fun fact. He almost had his butt on fire and his mouth and whatever else. Our beans are going crazy. I guess that's also doing really well this week. I don't think there's anything in here yet. Um, I don't think I've seen them flower, but they're getting there. Uh, more tomatoes. 
our grapes. You see our grape tomatoes are doing really well down here and it's all getting there. The onions taking a beating from all the rain. Um, we got a couple lonely cabbage plants in here, one here, one here, and then there's one down this way. So, like I said last time, uh, we planted that a little late. So, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, this is all gone to seed. That spinach we got to cut out of there to get ready for the winter. We'll just freeze it or something like that. We should have some kale coming up in here. I think in the last video I called called it rhubarb an accident. Definitely some kale. And here is our pickling cucumbers. These guys are doing really well. They're starting to take off and climb up. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six plants in here. So yeah, that's it for our weekly garden update. The apples are doing good. Um, another question that I have, if any of you have an answer for it that are watching, comment below on how you keep squirrels off of your fruit trees because I am losing I don't know two to three apples a day <clears throat> and these are Newtown Pippin apples so I don't harvest them until late October early November and by that time losing two three apples a day I'll have zero apples left so um, thanks for watching as always make sure you like comment subscribe and cheers